The Lower Ninth Ward is, is really unique. Those uh, lots and houses are passed down from generation to generation. Uh, and you've got really w w what was the highest percentage of home ownership uh, in the city of New Orleans before the storm. And right now Katrina is turning and churning in the Gulf of Mexico and has its eyes set right along the Gulf Coast. This was kind of ground zero for Katrina. I mean, this is where that first wave of water came right in, right, and literally knocking houses off of their foundation and leaving us with nothing but from porches. It was devastating in that you lost every stitch of everything you owned. A lifetime was in that home, and it was gone. It just washed away in an instant. You refer to the houses, you're talking about the physical, but you also lost, you lost culture, you lost family history, you know, you lost all those things in a matter of minutes. When you, when you walk through the neighborhood, everywhere you see an empty lot was a home that someone lived in. Not many people have come back. So this area in particular was the most devastated, which I think is why uh, the Make It Right Foundation chose this area because they wanted to prove that this could be done and it could be done in the most intensively impacted area of uh, the city of New Orleans. And when we heard that, that they had a fundraising gap because of the, the downturn in the economy, we worked with them to bring in new market tax credits to close that gap. New market tax credit transactions have helped us take uh, the capital that we had raised philanthropically and, 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 and invest it further in this community. So Make It Right was uh, the organization that was started by Brad Pitt actually a couple years after Hurricane Katrina. He was really frustrated by the lack of progress rebuilding in some of the city's hardest hit areas, but there were residents that desperately wanted to come home. You have musicians, poets, um, football players, you have all this great culture that comes out of the Lower Neck Ward that may, helps make New Orleans as unique as it is. Right, so how do you just let that vanish? How do you not provide a proper plan or a proper you know, a way for people to get back home? And those are the things, were the piece that we wanted to tackle. And at the same time, provide houses that were safe, affordable, sustainable, and healthy for those, for those homeowners who wanted to return. You know, this area was, was wiped out. A lot of people said this area should never be rebuilt. And uh, Make It Right in Amcraft believes it just needed to be rebuilt smarter and more sustainably. Not only did he want to build homes for people, he wanted to create a model for sustainable building that could be used worldwide. And he came in with a program and involved the community in the planning and in the design. There were several persons from the community that were involved in saying what we wanted, what we didn't want. So it was a community-driven program. Coming back and being back a part of this neighborhood was very important to me because it's where I spent most of my adult life. My children grew up down here, so it's very important to me. It's restoring their life and giving them a new sense of being, a sense of family, a sense of home. Uh, to bring this deal together, we had to bring three CDEs together, Amcraft Community Capital, Stonehenge Community Development, and Waveland. Uh, also people like Resnick, attorneys, architects, you name it. A lot of people, it takes a lot of people to make a project like this work. What Resnick did for us when we started out was help demystify the program help us learn how to use structures beyond the simple vanilla new market structures to get very complicated deals done, especially layering lots of tax credits. Make It Right has really impacted us in that many persons are able to have homes much better than they ever dreamed of having, and we love our homes. of Make It Right, we use new market tax credit um, dollars to, to generate additional capital to invest uh, specifically in solar. Um, so we were able to provide solar panels for just all of them to Make It Right houses. All of our appliances are energy efficient. The homes are built well insulated. There's very little air exchange between the outside air and the inside air. So our bills are really much more economical as compared to the rest of the people. Make It Right was a perfect fit for Amcraft's mission. Um, we've been focusing on sustainable development and redevelopment of the area post-Katrina, as well as renewable energy. And 
We came in and structured a package for them to bring in New Marcus tax credits to their home building operation. And then we did a second tranche of investment to fund their solar and energy efficiency features for the first time layering four tax credits to uh, reduce the solar cost to close to zero. Um, we wouldn't be able to build as many houses as were it not for, for those new markets transactions. You know, this is one of the only areas of activity in the Lower Ninth Ward. Um, and there are huge swaths, you don't have to go far from here to find land where there are simply no houses at all. And, um, you know, I think this has given people real reason for hope.